During COVID-19 pandemic, the Toronto Pride Parade is returning to in-person this Sunday. Leading up to the celebration, there's a number of events, including the Songbird North Pride Songwriter Circle. I spent a lot of time in Nashville. I did two records in Nashville. I lived in Nashville off and on for four years, so it's quite familiar um, with the concept of it. And then um, <clears throat> I wanted to start seeing some opportunities for my community. The concept is based on the iconic Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, the hub of country music in North America. For Massey, he released his first album over two decades ago and saw radio success, but it's not been an easy journey for him in the country music industry. I came out over 20 years ago in country music, walked away from a multi-million dollar record deal. I was 24, I didn't really think about what I was doing, um, and um, I'm still struggling to this day to be seen um, and heard. Oh, you're wrong. Go your own way. Massey says he's faced discrimination Go throughout his career, being denied Go music grants and even being left Go out of music festivals way. because of his sexual orientation. He hasn't let that stop him from pursuing his love of music and he's used his platform to try and knock down any barriers for any other gay country artists. People don't realize how difficult it is still in this day and age to be a gay man. I mean, there's 71 countries I can't go to because they have killed the gays or anti-gay laws. Massey says although it has been 20 years since he publicly came out, he still gets messages to this day on how his bravery changed other people's lives. A young boy or well, a young man from Pennsylvania, 19 year old, three years after it came out, sent me an email and he said, I just read about this article on you about today and I just want to let you know that maybe you don't think so, but for people like me, you're my savior. I had, I had a gun in my mouth and you gave me the courage to come out to my parents and my parents accepted me and you saved my life and I was like, oh. And then I got inundated by these young people and I, I just feel an inherent need to help them. I can't say no because I know what the alternative is. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.